Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Morgan and I'm here to share with you my love of all things DIY and home decor. Welcome back to another episode of Cam Brooks Break It! My design aesthetic is very neutral, so I get most of my color from my plants. <laughs> kind of gives you a sense of accomplishment when you haven't killed a plant in a long time. <laughs> like um, this one up here. That's the plant I've had for the longest that I have not killed yet. So if you're looking for an easy plant to keep alive, then go with the pothos because these babies are solid. Another great thing about pothos is that you can put them higher up because they do have like those vines, which is also super great for toddlers because they can't reach them. The hardest thing for me with plants is that I can't really have any that are on the ground because Brooks always gets into them. And when I say them, I mean one. I only have one that's on the ground because I can't trust him with plants on the ground because Brooks is just like his mama and he loves plants too. He just loves plants in a very hands-on way. Let me take you over here to this side of the room. Okay, so I have this little baby tree over here. Um, I'll link what kind of tree it is below. It's actually very easy to keep alive as well. The thing is, I used to have it in this big white ceramic pot that was beautiful, but Brooks discovered that there was dirt in the pot and he loved playing with the dirt and it was adorable, but it's not so great for my house. <laughs> I lost the video footage of the mess that Brooks made, but just imagine a thick layer of dirt all over the floor and the couch and the curtains, everywhere. I tried blocking off the area where the tree was, but Brooks found that he could crawl both behind and under the rattan chair, so that wasn't working. I tried covering the dirt in the pot, but Brooks would just move the stuff that I put on top, and it had happened at least four times. And then I realized I had the perfect thing. So I found this tall basket at HomeGoods a while ago. It hasn't had anything in it until just now when I realized it would be the perfect solution to stop Brooks from throwing dirt all over my house. The basket opening is just a little over 10 inches wide, so I had to be a little creative with the containers I put in it. I bought a $1 plastic tray at Lowe's to put at the bottom to catch any water drainage, and it was wider than the basket opening, but it was easily bendable, so it worked perfectly. I found this $5 plastic container at Lowe's also. The rim was a bit too big, so I cut it off with some scissors and an X-Acto knife, and then it fit perfectly. Tanner helped me move the previous pot outside where we repotted the tree into the plastic container. Unfortunately, the tree had a hard time standing up on its own because of the shallow container, so we rigged some support by using wire and brackets from a picture hanging kit and attaching the brackets to the woven material of the basket. The basket fixed our dirt problem, but now Brooks just wants to move the basket and shake it and tip it over. So <laughs> So we're back to not quite square one, but close. <laughs> I just kind of have to keep an eye on him so that he won't knock the basket over. <laughs> I'm just worried that because our tree is not in the deepest of pots, that it will just rip out the roots if he shakes it too violently. One way that could potentially fix this is to buy a taller pot and then put that taller pot into the basket. I did see some taller pots at Lowe's where we were at, but they were a little bit more expensive. And the container we got was only five bucks and it wasn't gonna be seen, so it seemed perfect to me. If you could find like a cheap tall bucket like one of these, um, and then just drill a hole in the bottom so that you have drainage, then I feel like that would be the best option to keep both your plant secure and to keep your toddlers away from it. Because I did buy my basket at Home Goods, you're probably not gonna find a basket that's exactly the same. But if you could find a tall basket with a wide opening, that would be ideal. Let me know what you guys have found to keep your plants safe from your toddlers 
or if you have any ideas on something that could possibly work, I am all ears. Let me know in the comments what ways you guys have found to save your plants from your toddlers. I hope this was helpful for you to give you an idea of how to keep your plants safe. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that like button below. I would be so ecstatic if you guys would subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to post videos once a week. Sometimes life gets a little crazy, but that is my goal. <laughs> I'll link my previous Canbrooks Break It video at the end here for you guys so you can check it out. So if you want to check out some more toddler-friendly decor, hit that link below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.